Welcome back everybody, we got a new reaction, brand new trailer just dropped about a few hours ago, and um, this time it's about commies, at least I think commies. Um, <clears throat> the official trailer for The Death of Stalin, starring Steve Buscemi, just dropped, and uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm not too keen on my history. And something about the whole Stalin and all that is where I have some uh, ignorance. Uh, but uh, I'm familiar with uh, his tyranny and the like. And it um, looks like it's going to be an interesting film. I don't know how many films there are about Stalin. Um, I just might might not know about him but uh kind of curious to see how steve buscemi uh plays out this one is he the main guy i don't know i haven't seen the trailer yet um follows the soviet dictator's last days and depicts the chaos of the regime after his death so we're not going to only get his life and some things that happened there but also the chaos of the regime after his death so not exactly sure what that entails because, like I said, I'm not familiar with the history that much. But let's let's get right into it. <laughs> okay, it's, looks like a comedy. We call a doctor. Oh yeah, it's gone. The best doctors are dead. But I can't remember who's alive and who isn't. Ah. <laughs> it's Comrade Stalin. I'll take it from here. We need to start putting together a plan. How can you run the shop at the same time? We should get Stalin's children here. What are you doing to my father, you jackals? How old are you? I'm old. You're not old. <laughs> You're not even a person. You're a testicle. Everything's gonna be fine. Not exactly fine, is it? My father's lying there with his head open. Stalin would have wanted the committee as one. All those in favor? Terry, you unanimously. <laughs> Rooshed? Not rushed. Whatever. There he is. Rooshed? Would you stop with this? I want to make a speech at my father's funeral. No, uh, no problem. Uh, technically, yes, but practically. When I said no problem, what I meant was no, no problem. Ignore me. I'm sorry, but I am very furious. You're the good guy now? You locked up half the nation. Yes, and now I'm releasing them. What are you doing? I've been picking out funeral cushions with Slim Hitler over there. Trust no one. Stalin will be loving this. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna get killed, I promise you. I've had nightmares that make more sense than this. You will not take me down! I will not be silent! Yeah. Alright. Well, um, interesting. I'll be honest, looks like it's probably for an older generation. Uh, sure, I mean, um, I could see how someone in my age might be interested, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of came off sort of... There's a movie with uh, Bruce Willis and a few other older guys, and it, it was called Red... Something Red, or just Red... And um, looked like it might have been a cool movie, funny and things like that. But I kind of watched it, feeling like, oh, this is definitely not catered to my my age group. But you know, it was semi entertaining. But you know, just a lot of jokes that I don't think are necessarily funny based on my age and things like that. So they didn't really hold my attention that well. Anyway, this movie looks similar. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, personally, 
I have no interest or desire whatsoever to see this outside of if somebody had it randomly on but even then I probably would be checking my phone on Facebook the entire time that's sort of it's not a popcorn flick it's a Facebook flick anyway um, thanks for watching guys click subscribe and like and comment let me know what you guys uh, want to see or uh, or what you thought. Stress-free nation.